Up next, we're going to be joined by Robert McEwen. He's the CEO now of U.S. Gold and Lexam Exploration, but best known for growing Gold Corp to what it is today over the last 20 years. And we're going to get an outlook for up next on Morning Call, we're going to be talking about gold back on the rise again after last month's drop. What's the outlook? We're going to talk with the CEO of U.S. Gold. You might know him better from this time at Gold Corp. And the first transatlantic stock exchange. Well, gold prices have risen about 13% over the past year, so and it's been a volatile year. What's the outlook for this year? Robert McHugh, the former CEO of Gold Corp., he's now the chairman and the CEO of U.S. Gold and Lexam Exploration, two much smaller companies that he's intending to grow. He joins us from Toronto uh, this morning. Thanks for coming on, Mr. McHugh. Um, let's start off with just a uh, simple gold forecast. As I said, it's, uh, you're up 13% in a year but it has not been a comfortable ride for those who are uh, investing in the marketplace. Your thoughts on where we're headed in terms of the price of gold? Gold's going higher. I believe by the end of 08, it'll be up touching and going through $850 an ounce. And by the end of 2010, will be multiples of that, probably north of $2,000 an ounce. $2,000 an ounce. How is a price like that even achievable? Uh, I mean, it's triple any historic peak that we've ever seen. If you were to inflation adjust the high, which is the 850 achieved in 1980, um, you'd be up around $2,100 in today's dollars. Um, but what you're looking at is less supply. Uh, it's getting more expensive to mine. Uh, and governments around the world, the geopolitical risk is rising so that I think the supply of gold will even shrink further and there are more people watching the price and saying, as you said, it's up 13% during the year. It's up from $250 up to 650 today from 2001. And people are going to be looking at gold and saying, this offers me liquidity in two days, not like a house in many months. It takes to sell and it's money. It's accepted 24 hours a day around the world and it doesn't depreciate. It appreciates. And you don't buy gold per se, do you? You mine it. Well, we're looking to find a deposit. In, in Gold Corp, we mined it. In U.S. Gold, we're in Nevada looking for gold. Now, you mentioned Gold Corp. Now, you ran that company, you grew that company for uh, 20 years. Uh, you're still one of the top ten shareholders our system shows with over six million shares. Are you reducing that stake now that you're uh, running these two new companies, U.S. Gold and Lexem? Uh, you'll have to update your system. I'm, I'm not there now. Okay, well, we just use the federal filings as they come through, so if you want to uh, uh, you know, update us, uh, you're more than welcome to. I have a few shares left, but very small. So you're pretty much out of Gold Corp then and focusing on U.S. Gold and Lexam? Yes, I'm looking for companies with uh, better leverage to the price of gold. Interestingly, people may not know, if you look back historically at the long-term chart of Gold Corp, which is you grew to one of the largest players uh, in the global industry, uh, you did it over a long period of time, but on a split-adjusted basis, you took the stock from like 1 to 30. I mean, clearly this is what you do. And are you planning to use the same sort of strategy to grow your new companies that you did uh, with Gold Corp? We were lucky with Gold Corp. We made a major discovery. Uh, I'm hoping that we might be so lucky in, in U.S. Gold. We're in a very prolific area with big discoveries around us and the world's two largest players, Newmont and Barrick, on either side of us. So I think we're very well situated in a geopolitically safe area with the right currency in the right spot in the middle of Nevada. Acquisitions are always a key part of it, whether it's land or existing small micro miners. What uh, do you foresee as the strategy that you'll utilize uh, at U.S. Gold and Lexam? Well, we just completed a takeover mat of three companies. It was a simultaneous takeover bid. So we've assembled a very dominant land position within a, an important area in Nevada. Uh, that's the first step in consolidating a position. We strengthened the balance sheet, listed on uh, the American and Toronto Stock Exchange, and set off to aggressively explore for the next several years. 
if uh, we'll look around for other opportunities. If we only have less than a minute left now, but if, for, for example, um, uh, U.S. gold uh, were were taken out, it's obviously a much more uh, easy small company to, to take out with a market cap of about 200 million versus the 18 billion for a gold corp. Uh, what do you do? Just to start all over again, sell and move on? I mean, are, are these long-term uh, operations as far as you're concerned? It's in the hands of the shareholders. If a bid came along and it was attractive to them, then we, we move on. All right. I'm a large shareholder. I'm, I own better than 25% of the company. Uh, of, the, uh, of U.S. Gold and Lexam as well? Yes. All right. Uh, Lexam over 50. Okay. Mr. McEwen, thank you very much and good luck on your new venture. Uh, we look uh, forward to having you on to see if the price of gold does indeed hit $2,000 an ounce. Robert McEwen, Chairman and CEO of U.S. Gold and Lexam.